um, if you're a psychology students, I'm assuming that uh, at least the psychology students here would know um, a little bit about the psychosexual stages and the complexes that Freud talked about. Uh, you know, I mean, this is not a concept that we can go into in too much detail because it's a huge concept, but uh, I'll just basically go over each stage uh, because this was important to Freud's uh, work. So, um, according to Freud, there were five basic psychosexual stages of development. The oral phase lasted from birth to approximately uh, one year of age. The anal phase lasted from one to three years. The phallic, uh, three to six years, this is where the uh, formation of the Oedipus complex uh, starts. And uh, Electra complex was actually later on added by Jung, which we'll get to later. Uh, latency is from six to puberty and genital is puberty to death. So Freud was extremely obsessed in his theories with um, sexuality. He believed that everything in man and human beings is ultimately, it is the desire to repro reproduce, procreate and, and engage in sexual relations and carry forward your, your genes. Um, in Freud's mind, all behaviors, um, all maladaptive behaviors were eventually all related to what he called the libido. Libido was one of uh, Freud's biggest contribution again. Um, what he said libido was, was basically sexual energy. And it was energy that you used that came from the libido, but you used it for everything. So if you were to ask Freud, uh, why a man likes an expensive sports car, he would say that it's his, it's his sexual energy, his libido, which is trying to attract a woman who he thinks would be, you know, uh, only attracted by an expensive car. And, and, you know, it's his way of getting the most uh, attractive mate possible to pass on his genes and to, to engage in a sexual relation with. So this was Freud's way of thinking. In Freud's mind, everything you did in life was, was, uh, basically sexual energy it came from the libido and that's where these psychosexual stages were born um, you have to understand that these stages were never researched we don't have scientific backing we cannot research these stages because because um, you would uh, you would fall into a lot of legal trouble if you try to research them but Freud has effectively used them to treat people in in therapy so what he did was that he, he, he managed to actually go back into these stages um, of a person who was, who was having maladaptive uh, psychology. Like, for example, uh, somebody who had hysteria, somebody who had a borderline personality disorder, somebody who had neurosis. He effectively could go back to the stage where the person was, was stuck, in Freud's words, he was depressed. And he could bring that person back to uh, one of the later mature stages. So according to Freud, the mature stages were, was only genital. So up until puberty, you are in more of more or less an immature psychosexual stage. Uh, the oral stage Freud believed was, I'll just briefly go over it. The oral stage Freud believed was related to everything to do with the mouth. So it was any action to do with the mouth, like the baby sucking, the baby licking, the baby playing with the fingers, you know, it started in infancy. So it started just at a newborn uh, age and lasted all through the infancy to first year. And all of the behaviors related to the mouth were completely um, organized in this oral phase. Then came the anal phase, which was one to three years, which Freud believed was related to toilet training and any sort of pressure or any sort of, um, you know, um, mishandling by the parents of toilet training could lead to problems in the anal phase. And this is where Freud believed that obsessive compulsive disorder actually originated from that OCD is actually uh, anal retentive, which is um, basically meaning to say that if a parent is extremely uh, 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 reprimanding or punishes a child for, for defecating in public or urinating in public when they're toilet training and you yell at your child, that why, why did you just, you know, um, urinate in, in front of everybody, that this could lead to what he called anal retention, which is basically uh, uh, an obsession with cleanliness and an obsession with, with controlling your bowel movements. And this was where OCD came about. Just going back one step, so oral phase, if you, if you can um, put together, because everything was to do with the mouth, 
Freud believed that all sorts of eating disorders or overeating or anything to do with the mouth, addictions to smoking, drinking, um, anything that is intake, outtake or mm-hmm. output or any sort of um, obsession with, with things to do with your mouth. So eating, drinking, smoking, uh, everything came from the oral phase. And his belief was that this was basically a um, maladaptive attachment to the mother in the first year of life. Uh, Maybe the baby wasn't breastfed enough, you know, things like that. The phallic phase was the most important phase, according to uh, Freud, because he saw that three to six year children started to express, you know, sexual um, content. So they started to notice that they are different, uh, that they are girls and boys. Genders could, the sexes, different sexes could actually say that we belong to two different sexes. They start noticing that boys are different, girls are different. And they start becoming aware of uh, the sexual differences between uh, boys and girls. And so the phallic phase is where he felt that all uh, your libido and your sexual energy started to actually, um, be- you, become, you become aware of it. Uh, this is where the formation of the Oedipus complex comes. The Oedipus complex is a term against which is used very often by psychologists. Oedipus complex actually comes from a Greek mythology, Greek play called, uh, it was, there was a character called Oedipus who murdered his mother's lover because he was jealous of his mother's lover. And um, Freud was very fascinated by this idea. Later theories have said that Freud actually had a lot of jealousy towards his mother's uh, boyfriend. His mother actually had a lover as well. And he used to feel very jealous of the man because the whenever the man was coming over, his mother would not pay attention to him. And he had fantasies of killing his mother's boyfriend. And that's where uh, the Oedipus complex, the idea of the Oedipus complex was born in Freud's mind. So the Oedipus complex basically says that um, the Oedipus complex is particularly for boys. So I must mention here that the Oedipus complex is for boys. Electra complex later on added by Jung is for girls. So the Oedipus complex says that you, um, as a boy, you would have... Uh, you know, uh, sexual feelings and feelings of ownership over the opposite sex parent, which is the mother. And that any disruption in that, any sort of competition in that uh, would lead to um, feelings of jealousy. So in his mind, he believed that a boy could even be jealous of his own father and that he would cling more to his mother in this stage to make sure that the father is not getting that much attention. And he has fantasies, repressed fantasies of killing his father. Very, very radical ideas for those times. So you can imagine that in 1930s in Europe, uh, when it was mostly, you know, royal families, this was a very, very uh, controversial, uh, you know, uh, concept. Electra complex is the opposite for girls, which is basically uh, when Jung uh, came to work for Freud, He questioned Freud about the fact that, you know, what about girls? If there is an Oedipus complex for boys, what about girls? What is their relationship with their mother? And uh, Freud said that it was exactly the opposite for girls. So girls actually had a complex of, um, you know, being sexually attracted to their father and the mother was treated as competition. But Jung sort of never agreed with this idea. So later on, Jung has said that in his mind, um, you know, he, never, he was never convinced that, um, that there could be a Oedipus complex and an Electra complex. Maybe there could be some, some jealousy from the child towards the opposite sex parent and, you know, or the same sex parent. Uh, but there, there couldn't be uh, feelings of, or fantasies of killing your parent. It was a bit far-fetched for him. The latency period is from six to puberty where he said, Freud said that your libidinal energy, your sexual energy would become dormant. From the age of 6 to about 12, 13 till you hit teens, you basically become involved with your friends, your studies and things like that. And you don't really uh, think about your libidinal energy. It kind of goes into the background for a while. And then from the genital phase onwards, you start maturing. And that is when you get into teenage years. You start becoming aware of the libidinal energy again. And that basically lasts until you die. So this was his basic stages, psychosexual stages and the complexes that came along with it.